You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. We got breaking news in here, and it is about an NFL Hall of Famer that has shown himself to be a pretty damn good college football coach. And I am talking about former NFL defensive back. One of the goats of all time, Deion Sanders, said there should be a separate wing for real Hall of Famers, guys that you just think of and you're immediately like, oh, yeah, they were absolutely one of the best at their positions. And Deion Sanders was one of the best cornerbacks the history of football has ever seen. Now he is the head football coach for the Colorado Buffaloes. Personally speaking, can't wait to see what this season looks like. But if you have not been following this, Deion Sanders has had some health problems going back to Jackson State. He had a couple of toes amputated. He had a surgery for blood clots. And now Deion Sanders is going to miss media day. Why? This is kind of disturbing, but it seems Deion Sanders is is fighting blood clots yet again. Guys, we know that can be pretty dangerous. You know, when you're in the hospital, they tend to give you things that prevents blood clots if you've been there for any length of time because they can do some real damage to you. This is breaking news. ESPN, Colorado coach Deion Sanders will not attend Pac-12 Media Day because of a, quote, routine follow-up procedure. Unfortunately, his recovery will preclude him from attending Pac-12 Media Day but he is fully expected to be back in time for fall camp. The school said Wednesday in a statement, everyone at CU wishes coach a fast recovery, and we look forward to seeing him. According to a statement, Colorado defensive coordinator Charles Kelly will represent the school Friday at Pac-12 Media Day along with quarterback Shadur Sanders and cornerback receiver Travis Hunter. Deion Sanders posted a video on Instagram of what appeared to be a physician who confirmed the Hall of Fame cornerback is going to have, quote, a couple of surgeries on Thursday to remove another blood clot in his right leg. Doctors will also straighten out two of Sanders' toes so they don't cause any more pain in his shoes. Quote, this is how the devil works. We know Sanders, very religious, very open about it. Personally speaking, we don't see that enough these days. Sanders said in the video he thinks that if he can stop my mobility, he can stop my ability. He can't do that. You can't stop my mobility, first and foremost, and don't stop my ability. My ability is God-given. You can't touch that. Sanders had successful surgery to remove blood clots in his left leg, according to Instagram post from him and his fiancée, Tracy Edmonds. The procedure was a blood clot in his left thigh and another in the same leg below his knee. While coaching at Jackson State in 2021, Jackson was hospitalized after complications from surgery to repair a dislocated toe. He experienced blood clots, missed three games, and underwent several more surgeries, including the removal of two toes. Quote, I promise you when when we go out to TCU... I'm running out in front of our team. I promise you that. And nobody's doubting the toughness of Deion Sanders. If I remember correctly, he had some issues with, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he had some issues with turf toe towards the end of his career, and it may have ultimately sort of ended it for And, of course, he came back, he played for the Ravens, this, that, and the other. But uh, he had some issues with his toes back in the day, if I remember correctly. Dion, one of the all-time, and we forget about this when we talk about Dion, two-sport athlete, Cincinnati Reds, Major League Baseball. Dion was a good baseball player back in the day. This wasn't a guy that was a cup of coffee baseball player. He was a legitimate good baseball player for a long time. And, um, of course, the NFL was his main jam, and he absolutely excelled. He is what you call a shut-down corner back in the day. Picked off a lot of balls and high-stepped a lot of touchdowns. I cannot wait to see what Dion 
does with the Colorado Buffaloes. And I, I wonder, he's talked about staying in college. I still think eventually, if his health permits, and Dion would probably be like, no, no, I'm not going to the NFL, but one of these days, the Dallas Cowboys will need a head football coach. All right, and if Dion's got four, five, six, seven years of successful college football under his belt, Jerry, Jerry's going to start looking around. I'm just saying. May never happen, but I wouldn't be shocked if it did. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Prayers up for Deion Sanders. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.